I'm Finn from Shift. I'm over with uh, Motta from Secret. Uh, you've just defeated OG to clinch Worlds. At the beginning of this split, did you think it was possible to overtake Secret or to overtake Nip and Complexity to get that world spot? Yeah, of course. We believe it since the beginning. We knew we had the potential and we only had to show it in the tournament, you know, and we did it. Yeah, and Brad was quite happy on Twitter to take that spot off Complexity. Uh, can you talk about that rivalry a little bit? Of course, um, I mean, Brazil and Argentina and Chile and Spanish people have a lot of rivalry, you know, not only in football, but in life, you know. It's something we've always had this. It's not something like meant to be bad. It's just a rivalry, it, you know, it's fun. It's something health, healthy, you know. So it's something really cool because I love the complexity, guys. I have respect for all of them. They have a Brazilian the team, but um, it's really cool to take that from us, from them. Actually, um, we actually deserved it and we did it, you know. I mean, you, de you definitely deserved it. You've improved a lot over the course of the season, especially from the first split. Can you talk a little bit about your progression as a team throughout the season? Yeah, so the first split was our first split together. The team was still new in each other, you know, the play styles and stuff. We didn't get like really high achievements, but we knew we had the potential. So we stick to the team. We we made a boot camp that actually helped us a lot. And in the beginning of the split, we actually exploded. You know, our team just started um, smashing everyone and making everyone um, feel bad in the game, you know. And that's something that really relates to our team, the, the way we play, the way we, we talk, you know, something that actually is very, you know, it's very cool, you know, something that not a lot of teams have, you know. Yeah, I mean, you were very, very strong this split online for sure. You still didn't manage to beat Fiori, yeah? Uh, what makes them so strong? It's not a matter of being so strong. I think it's better. It's a matter of mental. But I think with the the past um, things that we've been doing, it's going to be something um, really possible in the next tournaments in the future. I mean, uh, I have a lot of respect to the few guys and what, what they play. They're really good. You know, they're a very hard team to beat, but they're not impossible. Yeah, like you said, you're trying to catch up to Furia. Do you think South America can get to a level where they can send two major contending teams to land in the future? Yeah, I do believe South America has a a very good, um, very good players, mechanical players that just need to, you know, get a more improvement. I mean, but um, they're all capable. You know, they all have the potential, and I think South America can, can be like one of the, I mean, top one or two regions in the future. You know. Individually for you as well, you've improved a lot over the last year and a half. Um, can you talk me through that progression and that's been for you? Yeah, so I got um, picked up by Nip in the last split of the last um, world, of the last season actually. And I've learned a lot from that. I, I qualified to three lands, including Gamers 8. And it was something that really helped me to progress, you know, in my career. And something that really helped me with not only in-game, but also off-game, how to deal with stuff, how to deal with losses that I didn't really knew at the time. And it's something that really helped me and make, made me improve a lot. Uh, thank you very much again, and congratulations. Thank you. It's my pleasure.